hi guys good afternoon welcome back to another video if this is your first time here my name is Sophie and you are welcome thank you so much for even clicking on this video if you haven't done so yet go ahead and hit the subscribe button don't forget to click the bell as well to activate your notifications in that way you will know as soon as we post a new video anyways guys remember to leave a nice comment and please share the video I just got home from the fish market yes I went to the fish market honestly I never want to go to the fish market I wanted to go to my favorite spot but I would have to drive a longer you know distance and I did not want to do that so what I did I just cut it short and go at the fish market you know good thing that on Thursdays that's the day that fresh fish come in according to them you know so I guess I got some fresh fish somewhat because they not look all that fresh to me but anyways thanks be to the most high I was able to you know go there and you know get some fish but I want to show you what one hundred dollars for it's a hundred dollars or more you know but I got run it off to a hundred all right so I want to show you guys what a hundred dollars worth of fish looks like i'm gonna wash my hands and next time we'll meet in my kitchen all right so see you there so here is the bag kind of heavy all right so here we go so this is one old salted fish you know i asked them to cut it up for me so yes it's part of the fish okay so this is one old salted fish and for all my Jamaicans you know these these are sprats so I purchased some sprats yeah so sprats and oh This is the rest of the fish. What I have here. Okay, so. Guys, honestly, I'm shocked to see. This is a hundred dollars worth of fish. I mean, the salted fish, you know, I did to it too, but. I'm telling you, things ain't, you know, cheap. And again, my hubby said not to complain about you know the expense of fish and stuff because remember to catch it is not easy so i don't complain we just are shown no. whoa it's just the bacteria oh okay so these are croakers croakers you know they clean them for you guys make sure they're properly cleaned yep scale it and everything it's up to you if you want the head on but you know typical jamaicans we love our fish head well for me i'm speaking for me i love my fish head so i wouldn't want my fish head to be off so i asked them just to clean and that's what they did so you know this is croakers croakers and oh i'm gonna start them out when i'm done so let me just i don't want them to be in the sink like that right so this here is corgi you know so croakers and oh my the croaker bag broke all right so and final porgies yep a hundred dollars worth of fish you know they clean them as i said nicely cleaned you know yeah and scale it and stuff but 100 dollars worth of fish guys i couldn't believe it i was shot myself see that 100 dollars worth of fish mm -hmm. for this part they didn't clean it you know so i'm gonna have to do that i don't know why maybe because it's you know a little fragile fish i don't know so this is the famous Pratt. 
you know i was like you know what i'm gonna get some i haven't eaten this in a while for years so i decided to get some for us yep so i'm gonna have to do the cleaning so for this evening's dinner i went ahead and made ourselves some fish tea or fish soup and it was super delicious and perfect for dinner since it was a very cold evening i did not get a chance to really clean you know the sprats yesterday so i'm gonna do them today and what i used to do my stuff is basically wash them with lime juice or vinegar that will take away that raw smell from you know the fish all right and i do this with all my meats so here i'm just pouring in my pan some cold water and i'm just gonna pour some you know lime juice into that so that whenever i'm through with you know cleaning the fish taking out the belly part and all of that i'm just gonna put it here in this pan with lime juice so to do my extra cleaning i'm just using my little knife here to remove the scales that are on it and right here i'm just you know cutting the side to expose the belly area i know i should have been using a glove but to be honest i can't bother at this time so i'm just removing the belly area you know doing my cleaning you know of the gills and all of that and then as you can see i put it here in the lime water you know to yeah get rid of that raw fish smell because of time purpose i went off camera and finish up my cleaning at this point i'm just gonna season with salt a little black pepper and some scallion garlic and thyme to distribute my little salt and such i am just giving the fish a little shake and i went ahead and added a hot pepper and few pimento or allspice seeds and this will add extra flavor to you know the fish all right so what i'm gonna do is cover and put in in the refrigerator until tomorrow where i'll be doing my frying. Good morning guys so this is the following day and i am about to pour some oil in this pot and we'll be frying the fish as soon as the oil is heated all right so whenever i'm frying fish i love to add flavor to my oil you know basically i go ahead and i remove you know the seasonings basically which is the garlic you know thyme and the pepper and I'll just put that in the oil so that it can add flavor to the oil so that whenever I fry my fish they can be tasty you know The day that 